Hello and welcome to another SEO content machine tutorial video. Today I'm going to cover the use of the custom content filter. You can find this by going to your article creator, clicking on custom content and hitting the filter content button. As this is a new task which I haven't run before, there is no cache content so the live preview here on the left hand side isn't able to show me what my changes will look like in real time. So I'm going to close this run my task and once it's finished I'm going to click back onto it. Once the task has finished running I can look at the task name and verify that there is something to live preview by the existence of this little cache label button. So I'm going to click on my task, go back to the filter content and here it is on the left hand side are all the sentences for the keyword that I used in my task which is green tea. If you are loading in multiple different keywords, for any keyword that has a cache content existing, that is, it's been run before, it's going to appear in this list and you can click down on it and select it to load the sentences that it found. So let's go through all the little tweaks that we can do. So the first one is to remove sentences using words box. So this is how you remove sentences from a list that include any words that you don't want it to appear. So for example, I don't want any sentences with the word research in it. So I'm going to type in research, click apply filters, the number of items has dropped down and I can see that research doesn't appear in any of these sentences now. Similarly, for keep sentences using words, for example, I only want sentences with the word green tea in them. So I can do that by typing green tea and clicking on filter. Now I only see sentences in this list with the word green tea. You can add more words by putting on a new line. And now we move on to the more advanced module which is replace words. This is basically a regex find and replace tool. So a very basic example is I want to replace the word green with the word red. So word green, I use the pipe symbol for the match which is the word red. And I click on apply filters and it's actually gone and shown me a preview of how the task is going to work. So it's anything that's been matched appears in this gold yellow kind of color. I match just the word green and it's been str stricken out because it's going to be replaced with the word red when uh, the article creator uses this content to create your articles. Now let's go on to the next example which says word number match replacement. So this word followed by number is basically a wild card that says any word. So if I do that and let's say we go back to the word green, typing green here and then once again red apply filter. So as you can see what it's done is found the first two words before green selected that and it's going to replace the whole thing with the word red. So for example, if we use T here and we make that one, it's going to match green T, red T, yellow T, any forms of T that it finds and it's just going to replace it with the word English T. Okay, so green T has become English T and uh, here we go. Let's see what other this really only has to wear green tea, but you can see how this can be useful for brand names or maybe you've got content talking about green tea, red tea, etc, etc. Now, as I mentioned, this is a regex enabled find replace. So what that means is, for example, let's take this sentence here. It says, one way that green tea could aid weight loss. So let's say, I want to match the word green. And also, I want to match the word aid. And anytime that appears, I'm going to just replace it with the single word red. So if I click apply filter, so here we go. Anytime we've, the word green has been found, it's becoming red. Anytime the word aid has been found, it's also been red. So here's how you can stack multiple matches to get one replacement. If you know a lot more about regex, um, you can Google, of course. This is a very powerful way of matching words and replacing them uh, with any other word that you require. If you have any questions, feel free to make a comment in the video below or you can send me an email anytime, info at seocontentmachine.com. Thank you.